Welcome to Storyworthy. My name is Christine Blackburn, and I'm coming to you from Los Angeles, California. Whether you're a longtime fan of the show of almost 14 years, or you're a new listener, welcome to Storyworthy. I hope you guys had a chance to listen to the show last week with singer Paige Bryan. Paige happens to be the comedian Sinbad's daughter. You guys know Sinbad, right? So Paige tells a story about going on a family vacation with her dad and her mom and her siblings to, um, oh, I forget. They were on a houseboat in Lake Havasu, I believe. Yeah. And uh, anyway, they're on this houseboat vacation. None of them have any business driving or operating a houseboat, but here we are, and a lot of funny things happen. So go back, you guys. Listen to Paige Bryan last week talking about her family vacation on a houseboat. But not today. Stick with me now, because today I am here alone. That's right. I am solo. I've actually never done this in 13 years. Just come to you from my closet with no guest. That does not happen often. And uh, here we are. It's just me. And I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about my year 2023. All right. That's exciting, isn't it? Well, the big thing that happened was I stopped drinking this year. Yeah, that's a big deal for me because I drank alcohol for 40 years. You know what I mean? Like growing up in Pittsburgh, football games, gatherings, family gatherings, it's always about alcohol. You know, what would you like to drink? So I have been drinking beers, (laughs) beers, a lot of beers and wine for many, many years. And this past June, it was June 22nd, I stopped drinking. And, you know, it, it wasn't like I had a moment like I'm an alcoholic. It wasn't that. It was a culmination of all the alcohol over 40 years. And one night I got, I was with my boyfriend. We were in Catalina and we went out for dinner and cruised around on a golf cart, all those funny things you do in Catalina. It's a lot of fun. And then I had too many beers and too much wine. That's it. So it wasn't like so dramatic, but I drank a lot. And the next day I was so sick. I was violently ill I mean, so much that I practically had to crawl to the boat to leave Catalina. You know, like I I was just out of it. It wasn't like a hangover. It wasn't like regular. It was like alcohol poisoning, I think. I, I sort of self-diagnosed myself. And uh, I wasn't just sick that day. I was sick for like two more days. You know, like really in bed, like extremely ill with a lot of, uh, you know... Uh, what's it called when you can't throw up anymore, but you keep you keep throwing up anyway? Dry heaving. Ugh, it's just the worst. It's one of those illnesses where you just think to yourself, I can't believe I didn't take advantage of things I could have done when I felt well. Do you know what I mean? Like, you do anything to not be in that bed and be sick. You know, go to House of Pies, eat a Sunday, go play pickleball, tennis, be with your kid. There's a thousand other things to do rather than be sick in bed by a self-inflicted poisoning. You know what I mean? So for me, that was the, uh, that was the catalyst. That's what made me think this is not good for me, like at all. And it really was kind of one of those, like the light turns on moments, you know, like an epiphany. I didn't go to any meetings and I'm sure they're very good. I'm sure all meetings are good. I mean, in any way, to have a sense of community with people around you, it can't be a bad thing. But for me, it was just a, I just had to reframe it, you know, and like realize that at the stores that I've been going to my whole life, I pass by cigarettes, no problem. I pass by, you know, chewing tobacco, no problem. I can pass by whiskey, no problem, or any of those, rum, gin. I can pass all that stuff up. But now I need to pass up the beer and the wine, too. So uh, that's what's been happening. So here I am, just just completed like six months, as it were. And yes, of course, I feel different. Yes, of course, I feel better. But um, it's hard, especially the holidays have been difficult when you see somebody with a, a perfect glass of champagne, you know, bubbling champagne and a beautiful flute. That's what I want, you know. So, um 
that's I just something I can't have. I just have to realize it's just it's not for me, just like cigarettes and chewing tobacco and all that stuff. So I am doing without. The first few months were very difficult for me just because it's breaking routine. You know, like here it is six o'clock, I'm making dinner and there's nothing to drink. There's not a glass of wine in the house. So a lot of it for me was just breaking my habits. So I started drinking an awful lot of soda water, which I always drank, but now I drink even more. And also those um, sugar-free beverages called ice. I love those. The pink lemonade. I know the pink grapefruit and the cherry limeade. Those are my favorites. Anyway, the point is, um, if anybody out there is also struggling with alcohol like I have been, you know, do it for yourself. I think that's the bottom line. You you kind of have to to just realize it's like other things in life, you know, like I don't play with guns and I don't drink alcohol. You know what I mean? Like that's, I mean, you just have to reframe it. And so also I slept a lot. I slept a lot the first couple months because frankly, it was more fun sleeping than being awake. So if you have to sleep, just do that. But I do think it's worth it at the end of the day. And for me, like I said, it's just been over six months. So I really, um, I'm proud of myself. How about that? Yeah. Also, I've been doing a lot of my life in three songs. You guys know that. My other show, My Life in Three Songs, it's over on Spotify. I talk to comedians about the three songs in their life that have impacted them. Not just their favorite songs, but songs that really paint a picture of who they are and where the comedian's from. So this past year, I've had on a lot of big hitters, man. Heavy hitters. Pat Oswalt, Jimmy Pardo, Jamie Kennedy, Judy Gold, Jackie Cation. I've had all these people on this year, and I continue to be really proud of that show. I encourage you guys to head over to Spotify and check it out, My Life in Three Songs. And also I have the website, mylifeinthreesongs.com. And then my other show, Story Smash. Story Smash, the storytelling game show. We've been playing all year at the Lyric Hyperion, and we'll continue playing in 2024 I know many of you are not from Los Angeles, but gosh, I wish you were, because we have so much fun. The next show is February 10th, and then after that, April 6th. So they're both Saturdays at 7.30 at the Lyric Hyperion in Silver Lake, California. And uh, if you can't see a show live, I encourage you to listen here on Storyworthy, because I always air the shows as well. The audio obviously. Although there are some story smashes over on YouTube. There are some full-on shows. In fact, there's like 20 or 25 from the pandemic, and there's one from last summer at the Lyric Hyperion, and that's all on YouTube. My YouTube channel, Christine Blackburn, I now have over 600 subscribers. Woo! I'd love to get to 1,000. I'd love to get to 1,000. So anyway, um, that's an option. This year, I've been watching YouTube every day, actually. I usually go to bed by 10 o'clock at night. So in the morning, while I have my coffee, I watch like the Jimmy Kimmel from the night before and the Colbert from the night before. And then I always watch John Oliver as well. So it's so great how YouTube has all the programming now. You guys probably know that. Maybe I'm late to the game, but man, I love it. So when you're over there on YouTube watching your regular stuff, definitely click on Christine Blackburn and uh, do... Follow me there, would you? And the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is I am going to create a master class. I know. I know. It's dumb, right? No, it's not dumb. Because if there's one thing I know how to do is podcast. And I've been teaching for four or five years, but there's Zoom classes. Some I've done in person as well, but mostly Zoom classes. And actually, it gets a little tiring repeating the same things over and over. And my class always changes. But I've decided to take all those class notes, all those keynote presentations that I've made over the last five years, and put them all in one convenient master class. I'm going to sell it for two forty nine. dollars And it might sound like a lot of money. And I know there's places you can learn to podcast for free. Like, I get that. However, if you really want to know how to podcast, my masterclass is going to have six videos. And you're going to get 30 minutes conversation with me on the phone. So you're going to get everything you need to know 
how to start that podcast this year in 2024. Next year, 2024. So, uh, yeah, you guys, that is coming. I've been creating it, and I wanted to get it out for Christmas, but I just couldn't get it finished. But it's looking very good, and whenever I get that master class finished, I'll let you know, and then the class will be on YouTube, but you'll have, like, the private, the private code so that you can view them, right? Yes. Anyway, look for that, you guys. And so let's see. What else? Oh, I went to New York. I took, In fact, I went to New York twice this year, once for the U.S. Open with my boyfriend, and that was fantastic. My first time at the U.S. Open tennis match, and it was so much fun. I don't know if you guys realize, but the, the tennis match, the U.S. Open, it's the largest in the world, and there are 64 courts there at the U.S. Open. It's like Disneyland for tennis players. I mean, it is so much fun, so much going on. And I got through the whole thing with no alcohol, but I was drinking the Heineken, uh, non-alcoholic Heinekens, the zero, zero percents, and they were $12 a can. And I drank six of them. Yeah, I know, a lot of money for no buzz. Don't you think I know it? But I also went outside and smoked a lot of weed. So the point is, (laughs) I am California sober after all. I'm not insane. And then the other thing, um, as I took my daughter to New York as well, and we had such a good time. I took them last year as well. So this is the second year in New York with my kid. We stayed three nights both years, saw three Broadway shows, spent a ton of money that I don't have. But you know what? Fuck it, right? I mean, the time is short. My kid is only going to be 16 once, and we had a blast. So that was my kid's Christmas present as well. I actually wrapped up some tiny, like a little New York Christmas bulb, and I wrapped up a little New York, like a sign, and I wrapped up little gifts that say New York, but, you know, that was the real Christmas gift. And I'll do it next fall, too, because that has been such a good time. So I had a great year, and I and I hope you guys did as well. And I think 2024 will be even better, you know, not just because of the sobriety thing, but because I'm, well, I'm more clear-headed. But I guess that's, that's slash sobriety, isn't it? Anyway, I'm looking forward to a great year and getting on some big guests on my Life in Three Songs. On the top of my mind to get is, is Kathy Griffin. And I'd love to have on Rosie O'Donnell, and I'd love to have on Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla, and, uh, you know, lots of people. So hopefully this year will be the year that My Life in Three Songs really takes off. Again, check out the show, My Life in Three Songs, over on Spotify, and follow the show, because that really helps me out. And of course, come to Story Smash. It's uh, February 10th, and then again, April 6th. We have such a blast. Keep your eye out for my new master class coming out. You can always check out christineblackburn.com. That's kind of ground central. Or storyworthypodcast.com. That's where you can find my mailing list. Storysmashshow.com. That's where you can find out all about Story Smash. And of course, my new passion, my life in three songs.com. Yes, of course. All right, you guys, thanks again uh, for listening to Story Worthy all year long. In March, that starts my 14th year podcasting, and I am pretty damn proud of myself. There, I said it. Uh, all right, you guys, if you ever want to write me, please do christineblackburn1 at gmail.com. And you can also find my address anywhere on any of those websites I just mentioned. All right, you guys, Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And make it a story worthy year. Thanks for joining us on the Story Worthy Podcast. We'll be back next week with all new stories. Subscribe to StoryWorthy on iTunes and visit the StoryWorthy website at storyworthypodcast.com. Hey.